Hello guys, Crisp here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, we're going to be testing the minimum and recommended requirements of The Witcher 3 in... The Witcher 3. <laughs> so, for the minimum requirements, I have the legendary Intel Core i5 2500K CPU released back in 2011, looking glorious there, installed in the Gigabyte uh, motherboard. It also asks for 6 gigabytes of RAM, so that's exactly what we have here. And for the graphics card, I have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. This one is also from Gigabyte. It's the Windforce 2X edition, comes overclocked out of the box and everything and it stays really cool with this cooler actually. Now for the recommended requirements it asks for an i7-3770. I got the i7-3770K which is basically the same thing 100 megahertz faster but that doesn't really make any difference whatsoever. It also asks for 8 gigabytes of RAM and that's what we have here in dual channel and first of all I was actually gonna test it out with the AMD platform. This is the FX8 8350 and this motherboard but I spent the last two hours trying to diagnose what was wrong with it it wasn't booting and it was the PCI Express slot so uh yeah, I guess I gotta find a new motherboard to test FX stuff. But moving on to the recommended GPUs, I have both here. And the first one from NVIDIA is the GTX 770. So this right here is the Gainward Phantom Edition of the card. And then weirdly, on the AMD side of things, we got the Radeon R9 290. This GPU should outperform the GTX 770 by quite a lot, guys. This actually competes with the GTX 780 back in the days, but these days I think it outperforms even the 780 Ti. This thing is somewhat of a little beast, you know. I actually reviewed it a few months ago this year and it impressed the heck out of me, guys. It's, it's really surprising the performance that you can get from a nine-year-old GPU. It released back in 2013. But let's uh, install everything now and play The Witcher 3, finally, shall we? And first of all, minimum requirements desktop time just so you know that everything is here put together as you can see for minimum requirements you think low settings right so that's exactly what we're using right here low settings everything at 1080p resolution first using low settings here as well just click low there applied and that's it here we are getting a hundred percent usage on the cpu right away as well as the gpu but the gpu is what you want to be at 99% to avoid like stuttering and uh, to have a little bit of overhead if you want to do some multitasking. I really recommend you not to <laughs> in second gen i5s at least. Uh, but okay, it's actually running all right. We're in Novigrad, by the way, very intensive city. Not the most GPU demanding area in the entire map, but it's a pretty good benchmark around here. So getting into the city, the frame time graph is a little bit bad actually. Look at that, stuttering a little bit, oh boy. I think that's because of the RAM being maxed out, because the RAM usage is already at 5.4 gigabytes, um, and it never goes up to like the six gigabytes that we actually have installed, by the way, whenever the RAM is maxed out. Usually it's like half a gig uh, lower than the actual maximum hardware installed RAM. So I think that's what's happening here. We're slightly running out of RAM. And we're going into a cutscene, of course we are. Don't don't care about cutscenes. Well, actually, we can see it loading the cutscene and stuff. Yeah, it definitely drops a lot when that happens. Uh, and now we can see some fire effects. That's great, yes. So, there we go. I'm on fire. Not intensive. It seems like the GTX 660 is handling it really well. You could even possibly play at uh, medium settings, maybe. Uh, but the RAM... Yeah, it's it's having a rough time here. Roach, where the heck are you? What the hell? How did you come out of there? Okay, well, and you? Wh where did you come yeah. from? <laughs> you were invisible just now. All right. Anyways, yeah, CPU usage sometimes goes down, but I don't. I really don't think it's the CPU causing the stuttering issues. It seems like it has stabilized a little bit, or maybe it's just outside of the city. It gets pretty smooth and stable frame times, but here. It just doesn't. Eh, it's actually not bad now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was still loading everything and now that it loaded everything, it's alright. And it doesn't stutter anymore. 
So I guess these minimum requirements are a little bit generous in the graphics card department, maybe the CPU department as well. You could get away with a slightly slower CPU, like maybe an i5-2400 instead of the 2500K, which will run exactly the same in this game because we're not overclocking this CPU. Uh, and yeah, it could use a little bit of a bump up in the RAM requirements for sure. But if you have a similar system to this, Rest assured, you will be able to play this game absolutely fine. Now, I just want to check it out here at 1080p using the medium settings this time around. I'm also using medium settings here. Oh, damn, I can, I can instantly tell a difference in the graphics department. It looks way better on medium settings here, guys. Wow, I wasn't expecting that big of a difference, honestly. Uh, but the FPS still are above 30 frames all of the time, basically. Even here in Novigrad, gets the stuttering issues still yeah 29 fps 1% lows because of the frame time graph variations but it's still not feeling terrible if you can overlook the stutters it it can be quite a decent experience and i guess if you lock the fps as well uh, you could get a smoother experience an even smoother experience and play with the controller and stuff yeah that's probably the way to go here actually wow it's just so much better looking on medium and the 660 is doing an amazing job i didn't think the 660 would do this well wow that's crazy maybe the developers also didn't think it would do this well because it asked for a 660 i think maybe like a 650 or 650 ti would have been a better choice in terms of minimum requirements gpu because honestly for minimum requirements i usually think of 720p lowest settings not even 1080p low and this is playing it at 1080p medium absolutely fine. I would consider this a really good experience. If I was playing the game, I, I would be fine with this, basically. So pretty impressive stuff. It also seems that those stutters at the beginning were just because the game was loading or something. Because now the RAM usage went down by just a little bit, a couple of hundred megahertz bytes. <laughs> and... Uh, it uh, it's fairly smooth it still has some variations there in the frame time but i don't think you'd need you absolutely need eight take gigs of ram now that we have been playing for a while and now let's take a look at the recommended requirements in the desktop i7 3770k again the k is only 100 megahertz higher if you don't overclock it than the non-k version so it's pretty much the same thing same performance you know uh, 8 gigabytes of ram ddr3 1600 megahertz dual channel and over on the right we got the gtx 770 with 2 gigabytes of gddr5 vram okay so for recommended requirements i guess we should start at 1080p medium settings how we left it with the 660 we're almost getting 60 fps it feels noticeably smoother than the gtx 660 here uh, and the i5 of course we're not really seeing major stuttering now actually we haven't even seen a single frame time spike so far which is insane and uh, that cpu utilization is super high for a game from 2015 i wasn't expecting it to almost max out an i7 of, at the, of the time you know like a, a 6700 that released back in 2015 as well it would be maxed out because the game apparently can utilize up to eight threads eight entire th it's it's well optimized actually now it's not 60 fps on medium settings but in a game like this i think 30 fps is absolutely enough once again i would have pretty much the same experience here with the 770 and i7 as the i5 and gtx 660 from the minimum requirements because it gets 30 plus fps all of the time at 1080p and if i played with the controller it's fine guys of course we we still need a little bit more ram on the minimum requirements to avoid those stutters the ram usage is at six gigabytes at the moment and still creeping up a little bit you know it's going up guys so definitely what was causing the stutters was uh, the the ram in the minimum requirements so now, now we got the cutscene once again which will drop our fps i guess uh, one percent lows at least yes that's ex exactly the case now roach roach oh that's not how you call roach in this game come over here boy where is he okay there he is that's my my girl actually <laughs> i keep calling him boy her boy actually it's, it's a girl whoa i'm so sorry roach uh, roast roast 
because the fire, you know, it's it's a roast now, not roach. Anyways, let's go. I am on fire, but I don't care apparently because I am a witcher. Whoa, wait a second. Look at that. CPU usage is going up to a hundred percent. Looking at this crowd here, sometimes. Yeah, look at. Wow, that is insanely intensive. So I want to see it on high settings now, and I am not gonna use hair works here. Just gonna turn that off because it's just pretty hair that kills FPS basically. Set it to high here, disable the motion blur. Okay, wow, high settings seems to be getting higher FPS or around the same maybe as the minimum requirements at low settings here with the recommended one so that's that's pretty impressive actually kind of a big difference now because of the visual fidelity it looks way better like this than medium settings that's for sure i can notice that it's also much sharper like this i'm impressed it's the sharpening uh, effect in the processing options you can just enable it on the medium settings as well but yeah it makes everything look pretty decent pretty good pretty good yeah, at this point, I think Ultra settings might actually be playable with the GTX 770. That's very impressive. At this point, I think... Is that guy flying there? What the... Did you see that? The guy was flying there. <laughs> Roach, get over here, girl. Thank you very much. All right, we're good now. Uh, you already know that the it's pretty consistent anyways. And uh, it doesn't really drop the 1% lows by much. Actually... This is close, it's getting 34 FPS, 1% lows because the frame time went a little bit crazy for a second. Um, but yeah, at this point, I think that Ultra settings might be playable on the recommended requirements, which is great. I wasn't expecting that coming from a 770, but I was expecting it coming from the R9290. So, curious to see what that can do. Maybe 60 FPS on high settings, probably. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Um, but yeah, that's it. 47 FPS average. Pretty stable experience here in Novigrad, at least. Uh, lastly, Let's quit again and set it to Ultra. And yes, I am restarting the game to fully apply the settings, by the way, not only going to the menu here. So let's do that. Ultra now. Disabling hair works again. That's just the setting that you should always disable, basically. Okay. Ooh, it started stuttering a lot there. Wow, all right, that is intensive. It, it looks almost the same as high, so definitely stick to high settings, guys. It's so much more intensive. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, then. But it's still getting 30 plus. If you lock the FPS to 30. Oh my gosh, so many people here once again. I mean, it, it looks like there are more people around here, right? Maybe the crowd density is higher uh, at ultra settings. I'm not sure, though. Maybe it's just placebo. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty decent still it's very playable especially again with the controller where you can't really feel that smoothness difference too much in my opinion at least it's pretty damn good and here we go again already stopped it because it drops here in this part all right look at that oh i didn't know that they were actually burning a gal uh, a friend of mine would actually say what a waste <laughs> <laughs> because he used to make some uh, The Witcher uh, 2 videos and uh, he, he said that when they burned the girls. <laughs> Damn it, guys. I think this video is cursed. Now this motherboard doesn't work with the Radeon R9290 installed. I think I'll have to uh, test this card with like the i7-4770K because that actually works. Ah, at last, it is working. We got it here installed with the i7-4770K, same 8 gigabytes of RAM kit, and the GPU actually bit me. It is a dangerous job, guys, indeed. <laughs> but here we are in the desktop, i7-4770K. The only thing that changes is a number anyways, right? So should be pretty simple. <laughs> Where is the on-screen display? Where did it go? Okay, there it is. <laughs> All right, 1080p resolution, starting this off at high settings. All right, here we go, getting the magic number, my friends, or we were getting it for a second. <laughs> Amazing, what the hell? It's so much faster than the 770. This, this could actually be a 60 plus FPS experience all of the time here. Whereas the 770 was dropping into the 40s at times, I think, at high settings. 
That's insane. That's a huge discrepancy. Why did they recommend the R9 290 and the 770? Right now, it is dropping from 50 FPS, but notice that it's because we are actually CPU bound. Because the GPU usage went down a little bit there. So, holy crap, the 290 actually gets bottlenecked by a 4th Gen i7. That's insane. <laughs> Let's see the cutscene, which will wreck our 1% load once again, so I will stop counting them actually and now I, I will see the girl on fire again let's see because the fire effects might actually be pretty intensive here okay no they're not all right this is terrifying actually so <laughs> let's stop it let's get close to the fire now see the smoke effects i guess the smoke effects are a little bit more intensive we've got a couple of stutters there completely okay and the fps are once again dropping into the 50s at times but it is because of a CPU bottleneck. The 290 still has a little bit left in the tank to give. That's crazy. So that's it, I guess. It, it gets extremely close to 60 oh. FPS sometimes. In this area, it's actually GPU bound and we are still dropping a little bit from 60, but they should definitely have put at, like the R9 280, for example, instead of the 290 as the recommended requirements GPU, because this is, this is just a little bit too much. Finally, 1080p ultra settings preset without ray tracing. It's not ray tracing, but it was the ray tracing at the time. Hair works, actually. <laughs> Uh, actually more useless than ray tracing, honestly. So anyway. All right. Oh my God. Are you serious? What the hell? That's so good. It's still 60s sometimes. Whoa, that's crazy. This is better on ultra settings than the 770 was at high. What the actual hell? Oh, it's, it's so lovely to test this card, guys. Every time. Every time. All right, now we shouldn't really be CPU bound, hopefully. I don't think that GPU utilization will drop here with all of these people. Yep, 100%. Oh, 97 there. Slight drop, but I, it's not enough for me to say that it is CPU bound. So um, if you have a system like this, I would actually probably play like this. Ultra settings, 1080p, single player title, third person. It feels very smooth around 60 FPS on average. Even if it drops, it's okay. And um, you don't really get CPU bound if you play on ultra, which is great. Also, I would uh, increase the fan speed a little bit to keep the temperatures down, but then you can't really hear anything. <laughs> because that, that sounds like a jet engine. I'm actually gonna show you. So I'm gonna use my user profile. Yep. <laughs> and this microphone is actually awesome with noise reduction of the things around me. So anyways, let's get back to the game. 1% lows are already messed up because I minimized. Jeez, it's so loud! Holy crap! <laughs> Whoa! These are noise-canceling headphones, guys, and I wasn't expecting this to be that loud when I removed the headphones. <laughs> Jesus, that's insane. The good thing is you can actually get better coolers for this card, or versions with better coolers, basically, and you'll be able to overclock those and keep decent temperatures and decent acoustics, but not with a reference cooler. <laughs> um, also, temperatures are good now. At least that. Wow, it is dropping a lot out in the woods. I guess this is more GPU intensive than the city itself. So that's interesting to see as well. I am glad I went in this direction. Very interesting. Still super playable with the 290 though. Very, very impressive. And for the recommended requirements, I think the old i7s with four cores and eight threads are pretty... Uh, uh, spot on and the FX 8350 might be a bit slower, but it, it can probably still get like 40 plus FPS all of the time even in intensive areas like the city for the CPU. So that's my verdict here. Yeah, uh, you should buy this game if you haven't already. It's very cheap on Steam right now and it's amazing. So go play it. See you guys in the next one very soon. Hope you enjoyed it again. Love you all. Bye bye.